It's Wild Chase Whiskey Wednesday. Anyways, hey guys, it's Spade. Uh, I got a match here against Wild Chase because I was on Smoke on Battle Finder. I was looking for matches because I wanted to try out uh, Meloetta just because I wanted to. And then Chase accepted my challenge. And first I was like, is this really Chase? Because he said that uh, he was using a monogen team. But then I looked at his friend code and it was also, it was the same one that I already had registered. So it was truly Wild Chase. And uh, he was doing, doing like a, a 10k special week of monogen because of 10k and stuff. But uh, without further ado, Let's jump right into this match. I would kind of like to keep uh, things kind of short with my old computer and stuff. But anyways, lead with the Genesect. And I'm gonna go straight for the, I think, for the Ice Beam. As he goes into his uh, Porygon 2 and it seems to be a bit more of an offensive one because he is using the download ability as well. And I go into my Terrakion and I really wish I had U-turn because this Ice Beam actually does a lot because, you know, he had the download boost and everything. But anyways, I'm gonna go for the uh, close combat. Figured it would be would be my safest option. And oh my, Arceus that CC does a lot. I'm only running a Jolly Nature Terrakion. Uh, it actually has Rock Gem, but uh, since I cannot do it KO him, I'm gonna switch out and uh, go into my Mellow Hotel. As Chase goes for the best move in the game, Stealth Rocks. Anyways, I'm gonna go for the Relic Sun, hoping I could take him out and then transform and go from there. But he barely freaking lives and he's able to get off that Earthquake. Followed by the Ice Shard before I am able to take him out with my... Uh, I think I just go for the Psychic so that I won't get defense drops from uh, close combat or anything like that. But uh, yeah, take him out, but uh, now I'm basically Death Fodder at this point and he's gonna bring out his scissors, so... Uh, I do plan to uh, save my Meloetta for Death Forder, so I switch out into my Heatran, because the Bullet Punch is obvious, and Heatran basically takes nothing from the Bullet Punch, and uh, I can just go for the Magma Storm, and I know I would bait out this Polito, so I do have a plan in my mind, and uh, that first that involves trapping this Polito with Magma Storm, so that it cannot switch out, and I see the leftovers, so he's definitely running some sort of bulkier, Polytoad and then on the following turn I'm gonna go for the uh, sunny day and hopefully take a scald a lot better But he actually has the hydro pump So I'm guessing he's running like a max HP max special attack Polytoad But still thanks to the Sun I am able to live one hydro pump and then on the next turn I can fire off a sword beam in the hopes of you know taking him out But of course he's just barely going to live and he's gonna of course hit his Next Hydro Pump as well and take me out. And now of the leftovers, he... I think he barely has enough HP to live the Stealth Rock switch in. So that's just... Ah, uh, it's like so close but still so far away. I was disappointed. But I go for the best move in the game. Stealth Rocks. And I was... Still at this point I was hoping that I could take him out. But uh, Chase is going to U-turn. I'm gonna take a zip. Actually, I'm, I just have water here, but uh, take a sip every time Wild Chase U-turns. That's the theme today. But uh, yeah, he's gonna U-turn with his Crobat and uh, go into his Polytoad as a death fodder, but he is able to set up that sun, I mean the rain, before he goes down. So that kind of screws over my plan, but uh, nothing I can do about it. But uh, anyways, here I'm gonna send out Meloetta as a death fodder, and I see he's gonna lock himself into the U-turn. So I go into my Breloom, not really the best play, uh, but uh, I'm gonna put him to sleep. I kind of just wanted to put the scissor to sleep because uh, it kind of stops my Terrakion from doing anything. So I'm gonna bring out Terrakion right now, which was a bit of a risky move. I really should have brought it right off the bat. And then the worst thing happens. I miss my Stone Edge. He's gonna wake up and you turn out. So I could have possibly, I'm not sure if I could have taken him out. But at least brought him to a range where the Stealth Rocks would have taken him out because I do carry the Rock Gem, so that just completely ruins my plans. But uh, if anything good comes out of it, I can at least take out the Porygon too, because I'm guessing he was thinking I was Scarfed. So that's why he didn't go into his Crobat. But now he knows that, so he can safely just revenge kill me, but... Uh, he still has that Scissor, which is really scary, and um, I'm not sure if I can deal with it. But anyways, he has this Crobat out, and he's gonna U-turn, so... T 
take a zip and then he's gonna go into his scissor and guess what he's gonna try to do on the next turn. Yeah, that's right. So I go for the body slam, uh, don't get the para hacks of course and I'm gonna uh, iron hit once just to see how much it would do and just at this point I'm kind of just desperate to get it as just any kind of damage on this uh, scissor. So anyways, I'm gonna send out my Genesect just to resist the U-turn and um, then he's gonna go into his Raikou and uh, I just really want to get some solid damage on this thing and I'm pretty sure Chase is just going to continue his shenanigans and I do not take him out because Raikou does have good natural bulk and he's gonna go for the Vault Switch. That counts as a U-turn. Take another zip and then he's gonna go into his uh, scissor. So he has a really good uh, U-turning, wall-turning combination going on here. But anyways, I'm gonna bring out my uh, uh, my Brilliant. I'm kind of just forced to go for the uh, for the uh, freaking uh, mock punch here as he goes into his crow. But I guess I could have tried to uh, go for the uh, spore again, but I, I I just didn't feel like taking the risk. And uh, he doesn't feel like making any kind of risks here either as he goes for the brave but everything as I bring out my Jiraji. And uh, now I think I just go for the body slam because that's pretty much my uh, safest option. I just kind of need to spread some para hacks around and maybe then uh, Jirachi can uh, pull this off for me. And uh, I do get a para hacks on the uh, Crobat so that's at least nice. I'm really not sure what kind of set he's running because he has leftovers and then uh, I, I don't even know. I don't even know. He has a Brave Bird and then he has Roost and U-Turn for the momentum and everything. But uh, speak of the devil, he's gonna go for the U-Turn once again and we're gonna take another zip. There we go and then he's gonna send out his uh, Raikou and I just went for the Wish just to get back to full health basically. And then he's gonna hit me what seems to be a Choice Specs Thunder which is okay but I get paralyzed. And I get fully paralyzed on top of that. So, uh, yeah, th that's basically going to seal the deal. And it's kind of ironic and anticlimactic at the same time, but more ironic because of Jirachi, the Hacks God. But if I want to have any kind of chance, I need to keep, keep this Jirachi alive for the uh, Crow Band. But my uh, Breloom actually doesn't take a hit because Choice Specs Thunder. Is too much even with the resistance so that is basically going to be the match uh, but yeah that will be the game indeed interesting match and uh, just a bit of hacksy in the end but uh, still a lot, a lot of fun and it was kind of interesting to see Chase using a mono gen team and it was a generation 2 team if you didn't pick that up already but uh, could I say kind of interesting how uh, good of a team you can Good of a rain team you can build with a uh, generation 2 pokes. It has r really some good options and obviously, you know, Polytoad is the one to be setting up the rain and the only Pokemon that can do so, then you can do that in gen 2. So yeah, that's gonna be the game for today. I'm gonna keep the ramblings here at the end kind of short because I'm using my old computer and every minute that I keep on rambling adds like another 10 or 15 minutes to the rendering, which is horrible, but anyways, uh, thank you for watching and by the way, thank you for the support that you have been giving to the Pokey MMO series that I've been doing with Chase in fact, but uh, yeah, that will be all for today. Check out Chase's channel, I will leave a link in the description and that will indeed be all for today. So until next time, this is the Flaming Spade, signing out. Peace.